Good morning, YouTube. This is me on the way to your page, aka the Emperor of Fear and Body Talk. Coming to you live, live on YouTube. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed the holiday yesterday. It was 4th of July. Hope you got a chance to spend it with friends and family. Enjoy good uh, outside cookouts and fireworks and all that. You know, it's a very traditional holiday, 4th of July. But like I said, I want to shout out to the uh, ladies who are on prep, who could enjoy good old fashioned home cooking <laughs> outside of. Um, you know, dry turkey and quinoa. But like I said, if you if you are if you have a goal, especially this is for the season, uh, and I think yeah, you can skip it. But you can always try it next year. So anyway, uh, shout out to everybody. Happy belated Fourth of July. So anyway, we have a show coming up this weekend, and that is the Mister Big Evolution, aka the Portugal Pro. And this is why I like the show. It's one of the few shows that has women's bodybuilding, you know, division at it. You know, not too many shows outside of the U.S. has that had women's bodybuilding you know there was the um there's as you know a while back we had the imperial you know which which had which had which added women's bodybuilding after the promoter of that show dropped the europa the europa championships but i found this out doing a live stream where a man shout out to my man art of female muscle that the uh in europa, europa is now being promoted by two bros pros and shout out to them they are it's, and this show still has women's bodybuilding to the list. So that's great. That you know, I thought that they dropped the uh, Europa Championships, but now they are going to be in the UK. So this is another show opportunity for Olympic qualification. So that's great. You know, after one point, we didn't have enough women's bodybuilding shows, but still one extra. So anyway, we have here the women's bodybuilding list. And this is a good list. Some of these ladies are very impressive, some top levels. And even one lady who I know and had the pleasure of being on my channel for an interview. Uh, first up, we have here is Jacqueline J. Fuchs. As you know, uh, Jay was busy last year. She did three shows. She did both the uh, Masters Olympia, the Europa Championships, and the Remaining Muscle Fest. She did pretty good. She was top five con contender in, both those sh in all three of those shows. Um, big fan of Jay Fuchs. She has a great physique, great look. From what I saw from some videos in here and there, she looks really impressive. It's also, she's working with Hel Trevino, Gina Calvello, and Irene Anderson on the Team, um, for, team 4 Pros. So I think she might do pretty good at this show. It might be her first Olympic qualification. Next up, the list is one of her, also a client of Team um, Four uh, Four Pros. Um, that is uh, Victoria Kanish. Miss um, Kanish is originally from Russia, but she lives in um, Dubai. Now she was supposed to do the Imperio a while back, or was it last month? But uh, something happened. I don't know. She dropped out of that show. So hope she does. I hope she even make this show. Hope she does really well. Next up we have is Anastasia Levanova. As you know, Anastasia was second runner-up at the show last year, which is her and Arsenio Barito, and she won the show back in 2021. She, you know, she looked very impressive, you know, that year, and was hoping that she finally get the chance to compete at the Olympia. But I don't know. I think at the time, um, trans either either issue with visa or as you know, the things going on with Russia. A lot of Russian competitors are not getting permission to come to the United States. But um, I hope she does well at the show. Maybe she might even qualify for Olympia again. Here we have is uh, Vanessa Santana. And Vanessa has competed at the Imperial. She was one point in women's physique, but she switched over to women's bodybuilding. We have here also is Al Alida Opla. She's from hung Hungar Hungary, Hungarian competitor. Um, she was a women's physique, but now she's making a switch to women's bodybuilding. From what I've seen from the last couple of times, she looks very impressive. So let's see how she does. Next up is a lady we have here, number four, women's bodybuilding Olympian. That is the lovely Mrs. Sherry Priyami. As you know, I had the pleasure to have Miss Priyami on my channel a couple of times, did the interviews. And also, as you know, she signed with Bad Rap. Shout out to Eunice and JoJo. And I hope she does well. From what I've seen from Sherry, she looks great. She looks amazing. This could be an uh, opportunity for going to Olympia. As you know, she's number four. Uh, for before they didn't um i wish she still like make it top five but as you know now they don't so you know uh next up we have here is one miss Haggets uh Sardens, uh Sardens, i i'm sorry i mispronounced her name um you know she competed at the remain muscle fest last year she earned a pro card as a physique competitor but she's been competing as a bodybuilder since then uh press for lady you know um i hope she does well next up we have is Elevator uh, Stalachinko, 
And she knows she's from Russia also. We have at least three Russian competitors here on this list. I mean, I, I, like I say, the Russians are really coming out. Stamming her, um, you know, Victoria, Anastasia. You have Anastasia um, Kobaleva, Natalia Kobalova, you know. I mean, in the past few years, Russian bodybuilders, especially in the women division, are really growing. You know, she also was at the um, Imperio um, last month, and um, I hope she does well also. Now, one lady's not competing in the show is the last year's champion. It's Arsenio Barito. You know, Arsenio, she is um, number three at the Olympia for Women's Bodybuilding, and she's also competing at the, at the um, Rising Phoenix coming up in um, next month. Okay, I believe it's going to be next month. Um, I'm impressed with Arsenio. I've seen she's been working with um, I, uh, Iris Kyle, and I um, hope she, you know, we see how she gonna, what she's going to bring at both the Olympia and the Rising. Next up, we have is Martina Lopez. As you know, Martina competed at the uh, Triple O Dynasty, where she made her bodybuilding debut. And she took second to Nadia Capasoto at the Imperial. Now, now, the Imperial was in Spain, which was her backyard. So I thought she might try to do this show because, you know, Portugal is not too far from Spain. My guess she's maybe waiting on another show. Like, you know, there's the Alina Popa show coming up, which is probably qualification for the Olympia. So she might shoot for that show. So we'll be waiting to see. And next is one lady who I've been a fan of. Um, she's been a pro for quite some time, and that is one Miss Julia Forage. You know, Julia also competed at the uh, uh, Rising Phoenix. Uh, the big question is, what show she's going to do that will try to get her Olympic qualification? As I said again, the uh, Europa Championship is going to be in UK. There's also Lena's new show, or she might come over to the States because she might do. She did Tampa last year, and also she did. She might try to do Chicago. So we're just going to see what shows my um, Julia might do to get her Olympic qualification. Now, here we have the list for women's physique, and it is the usual stack list. We have quite a few ladies. I uh, know some ladies I recognize, and one lady I had the pleasure, as also, to have on my channel for an interview. So, we'll we show you ladies the best. Right here is Martina Cardurio. If I want to get a name wrong, I apologize. She's from Brazil. I believe this is going to be her debut. I couldn't find much about this picture, but she turned pro in 2022. Next up, we have here is Silvia Martinez. Now, she's from Spain. And Silver was at one point a figure competitor. She had a pro card at the um, the Romanian Muscle Fest and made her pro debut. She was, I think, she was number fifth, right behind Sylvia. Uh, sorry, behind Natasha Bastrova. So, like I said, she looks very impressive. She, you know, she also I think was top five at the Imperial last month. Next up, we have here one Miss Alessandra da Silva. She's from Italy. And also we have here is Linka Falakova from Czech Republic. As you know, Linka has been an Olympic competitor. Um, last year, she didn't get Olympic qualification. She did the Imperial, which took fifth, and she was very impressive. So let's see how she does at this show. Next up we have is Olga um, Gloria from Mexico, and she turned pro at North Americans. Uh, right here we have Christina Kreshmir, uh, Kreshmir. I'm sorry, I want to put up my her name, but you're real bad. She's from Austria. And next up, we have a lady. Like I said again, I had the pleasure on my channel for an interview, and that's the lovely uh, Mademoiselle Barbara Majan. You know, my Majan for the past three years was top four Olympic competitors since 2020, from 20 to 2021 and 2022. Um, you know, I'm a fan of Barbara. She has a great physique, great look to her. You know, one of at one point in 2022, she was one of three French competitors along with her country women, um, you know, Anne Lorraine Moon and uh, Sophie Leo. So, you know, she took last year off. So we're going to see. And she knows she won the show in 2023. I mean, actually 2022. So we'll see how she can do. So, you know, maybe she might do pretty good this show. Uh, next up we have is Carla uh, Nagara. I couldn't find a picture, so I had to use this one. Next up we have is Asana no Poonin, who competed also in Perio uh, last month. We have is Sahara uh, Ramani uh, from Iran. And she turned pro about a couple years ago and made a pro debut at the Main Muscle Fest. She's one of, I think, two female bodybuilders from Iran, counting uh, Mona Persele. Uh, next up we have is Paula Ranta. As you know, Paula was originally in figure. She competed show last year in figure, and she, she made her Women's physique debut at the Imperial in Spain, where she competed also at figure. Um, Paula, like I said, is very young, just 24. So she's really coming away. Um, let's see how she does, because she took second to Sandra. You remember, I mean, Sandra, who won the show. So let's see how Paula does. Next up we have is uh, Bang Yang, or you might better know her as um, Olivia Bang. 
and Olivia, you know, she took second at the Toronto Super Show with Tracy Guile. And Olivia, I'm a fan of her. She's a great physique, great look. She's one of the few um, female bodybuilders from China, you know. Um, she, I'm surprised to do this show because usually, she usually comes here and do shows in the States. She lives in South, she stays in South Carolina because I know she hangs out with um, Monique Jones. She's under Trey Hodge. So usually, I thought she might do a show like maybe Tampa or Chicago. But I'm surprised she is going over to Portugal to do this show. And she still has maybe a few more opportunities to get a little qualification. She might, you know, not do it in Portugal. She might try to do it in Chicago like she competed last time. That's where she got her, her um, qualification last time for the Olympia. Here we have is one Sarah uh, Sabats, and she's from Guadalupe. Um, impressive lady, great physique. I just reached out to her for interviews. So I'm hoping I might have her on my channel soon. soon. And next one we have is Carolina Alvarez dos Santos, or Carol Santos, as you know. Actually, Carol Alvarez, she goes by sometimes. Uh, she knows she won a show last year, and she's from Brazil. She's been, uh, she's had a little bit of qualification twice. But, I don't know, what keeps happening, she does not make it to the shows. Either, it could be a situation with Visa like it was last year or something. I mean, the cost of traveling is a lot. And, you know, and there was one point there was a show in Brazil, but, you know, most of she does most of the shows out of the States. Um, you know, it's all depending We're, between her. I think there could be a battle between her and Barbara, as you know, you know, like I said again, um, Carol, uh, Carol won the show last year. Barbara won it back in 2022. Um, we'll see, we'll see how this going to come out. Here we have is Vanessa, uh, Chauffantal. If I, I want to name, if I, I'm, if, I, if I mispronounce her name, I'm sorry. I'm still trying to work with some of these names. And she competed at the Imperial last year, last month. Um, one person who I was hoping to see to do a show is Sophie Leo, but I think she might be still recovering because you know she was going to do the Imperial, but um, she had to drop out because she got injured on her motorcycle. So she might be still recovering. But you know, like I said, she has competed in the states before, and there's also there's a, at least one more show that's Olympic qualification before um, the uh, full qualification ends. Next up we have is. Uh, Lena uh, Romo, and she's from Spain. And I was thinking she was going to do like the Imperial because that's in her backyard, or she has come here and does shows in the States. So I'm thinking, you know, she's already been Olympic qualified before. She won her first Olympic qualification at the Ultima that was last year. So I thought she might try to do this show, but she might try to do another show or come here to the States to do a show. And last we have here one Miss um, Alessandra. Uh, 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 Chavon, yeah, I've only got, I'm sorry, I'm pronouncing it wrong. She competed at the Triple O Dynasty. We hadn't seen her in a while. I was for sure she lives in Spain. I thought she might do the Imperial, but my guess she's uh, maybe one and done for the season, or she might work for another show later into the into the uh, season. You know, like I said, it's still Tampa. There's also there's um a couple other shows. You know, like I said, the guy, the uh, the list, the uh, qualification for the Olympia is. It won't be too long because you know Olympics in October, and usually they cut off um, qualification by I think the second week of the last month. I'm trying to remember, so we gotta wait to see when or where show she's gonna do. But I thought she might do this show because it's closer to to Spain than in any other show. So anyway, the show is going to be July seventh, that's Sunday, and I think starting time maybe about maybe nine o'clock, which means. For us in the States, it's going to be, if you're Eastern Standard Time, 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> if you're falling out west, maybe about, well, let's say 12 or 11, you know, because time zones are different in the, in North America. So, I'm not going to see the prejudging. But I'm thinking about, I might, you know, if I buy the uh, live stream, I just check out the um, the, the finals, you know, because, you know, you get it's the wrap up. But um, it's all dependent because I got an interview that Sunday. And, and like I said, if it's the timing, like I said, you got to forget the time, you know, because I think in Portugal is six hours ahead of the United States. So, hmm. but if not, I just catch the, uh, you know, some videos and stuff. If anybody who's watching the show, if you maybe, or even if you're there and you follow my channel, maybe send me some pics and maybe some vids, you know, for my um social media platform. Help me out a little bit. I really appreciate it. But if you're interested in watching it and you are up that late, <laughs> I will link, leave a link in the description. 
You check it out. Support the show. It's just one, like I said, it's one of the few shows outside the states that still have women's bodybuilding. Even when last year we had two competitors, they still have women's bodybuilding. While other um, promoters drops uh, uh, shows because they only had maybe two or three competitors, like the guy in who does the uh, the Midwest um, shows. You know, he dropped the physique from the St. Louis people. He had five competitors. Well, this show one time only had two competitors. Sometimes it was four. But this year is the, probably the most women's bodybuilding with eight, and it's still pretty a good stack lineup. You know, you get you know, come on. But you know how it is about money and whatever else. But shout out to the Portugal bro. Thank you for giving women's bodybuilding a platform where so few promoters are. And good luck to all the ladies and gentlemen at this coming up show for the weekend. And we just mail always your page, aka the Emperor of Feeling Body Talk. Like, don't subscribe. I'm out.